Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be about how to download and install fonts. My favorite place to go to for fonts is dafonts.com. It's really, I say fonts, but it's just DA font. And I've got it right here brought up. And you can pick like animals. And these are vector great graphic shapes of animals that are actually, you know, letters. And you can you can preview like if you want to go A B C and see what A B C looks like in your preview, it'll show you what you know if, or if you wanted a particular name. Now this, it wouldn't be that neat of a deal because we've got animals, but they're just going to show you all. But if you're using like handwritten, it'll show you what Doug looks like in those handwriting. That's what's so neat about all these are free. Perfectly to use for anything you want. You could donate to the author, which I have a couple of times in my career. But there's also other sites that you can get. I just typed in uh, free fonts, and it came up with this. And this, you have to be a little bit uh, personal use only. Uh, some of them will say uh, public domain, uh, which means anybody can use them. Like there's public domain. Uh, some of these fonts, I don't know what you'd why you would want them. I don't know how to get rid of that. But uh, personal use only, so maybe don't use them. Uh, you know, here's a free font, just download it. And this has always been a little bit confusing for people because you just need to pick, you know, these are probably different, you know, regular fonts. And if, you know, you know, OTF, 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 regular. We're just going to pick on the, the largest volume of font. And there it is right there. And just remember the name of it and then just hit install. A lot of people don't realize that fonts aren't inside of Corel. So remember PR. And then we go back to Corel and we're going to change this DA fonts. We'll go up here and we'll just type in PR will start it, there it is right there, and just hit enter. So there's that font. It's in, so when I said fonts aren't in Windows, or fonts aren't in Corel, they're in Windows, your version of Windows, and you can find them and delete them. And But a lot of people get confused because they go, well, I have a Corel X3 outside and I have it inside and the fonts are missing. Well, it all depends on what package of fonts came in your Windows doesn't have anything to do with Corel. So newer versions of Windows have newer fonts and different fonts. You know, they don't keep them all. But there's, you know, DA fonts is my go-to because you could search. Like if I wanted somebody, like that's my name, and if I wanted them in, you know, a cartoon character, I can look to see what mine looks like in a cartoon font. You know, there's, there's, 123 pages of this, and this is just one page. And to download one of these, let's just pick one I don't have. I don't have that one. I'm going to download it. It's even easier and, you know, go right there. You don't have to extract it. Just double click on it and hit install. And then it's going to, so remember Rocky. Let's go back to Corel. Let's type in Let's delete that font, R-O-C-K-Y, Rocky Age. Look at that, that fast. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.